Welcome back to Millie Cockapoo. Over on our Instagram, I often get asked what items I regret buying in the six months that Millie's been home. And honestly, there are quite a few. So I thought today I would give you 10 of the things that I regret buying the most. Most of the items I have here with me today, but there is one that I've not repurchased and I've used up so it went in the bin a few weeks ago but I'll still tell you about it but everything else I've physically got here with me to show you. The first thing I want to mention is something I bought before Millie came home and before she came home I did lots of research about um, different activities that you could give them to stimulate them and one of those activities that everyone recommended was stuffing a Kong. I think Kongs are a great mental stimulation for dogs and puppies the problem that I got is the size of the Kong that I bought. So in comparison to my hand, look how tiny it is. Like it's mini school, like my, my thumb's bigger than the Kong. That's how small this thing is. <laughs> so I bought the extra small Kong and I don't think I realised how small it was going to be. And it was okay for milling when she was nine weeks old, but as soon as she hit about 12 weeks, it was way too small for her and I had to get a bigger one. So I would do better research on the size of the Kong before you buy one, because they are expensive and she got maybe like a couple of weeks out of it. Yeah, I regret buying the extra small Kong. The next thing on my list I'm more annoyed at myself about because I refused to buy Millie any harnesses before she came home because my local pet shop said to bring her in and they'd measure her and I did that when she came home and it was a different person in the shop at the time because she hadn't had an injection she couldn't go on the floor and he wasn't even willing to like let me put her on the counter and let her you know, get measured even though I know other people have taken their dogs into that shop and got the dogs measured fine and got a harness that fitted them whereas I picked up one and at the time it was too big for Millie and she escaped it straight away. And I've kept it for her to grow into when she got older in the hope that she would actually be able to use it. So it was this one from Pets at Home. But she's every time I put this on her, she still escapes it. There was two lessons that I've learned from this. One, definitely measure your pets before you take them to the pet shop. Don't rely on the pet shop. And two, stepping harnesses aren't that secure. You're better off with the overhead ones. It's harder for them to get out. The next thing I have mentioned in previous videos, which I will tag above, but it is puppy pads. This is the pack that I bought for when Millie came home and I've never opened it. Like I mentioned in the previous video, she just chewed them up. And I personally think if you've got access to an outdoor space, you're better off just using that. And I think they'll get potty trained a lot quicker. So yeah, I've never had to use these puppy pads. So complete waste of money for me. The next item I don't have with me, because I've used it up. But it was something that I'd done a lot of research on. And one of these things, I think it was a complete gimmick. And it was the anti-chew spray. So it's a, a bitter apple spray that you spray on your furniture. And it's meant to stop them from chewing. And I, I guarantee that everywhere that I'd sprayed it. So on doormats, rugs, cushions, anywhere that I sprayed it she then went and chewed. And if I sprayed it and then it was still wet, she'd go and lick him. So she liked the taste of the spray. And I think if your dog's gonna chew, they're gonna chew at the end of the day. Um, you just need to be firm with them and train them not to chew. Complete waste of money, the sprays. I did use up the rest of the bottle, but I won't be buying it again. The next thing that I got, and I put it on my list just because Millie doesn't like it, is another brain simulation where you put the treats in the inside and then they knock it over. And I've tried this with her multiple times, but she just hates it. She just barks at it and then refuses to get any of the treats out. So yeah, for me, this was a waste of money, but I know other dogs do love them. I now wish that I'd not bought this when she first came home and instead tried to do the games with putting um, treats inside water bottles. And she hates doing that as well. And then I would have known that she wouldn't have liked this and I wouldn't have spent the money on this first. As I briefly mentioned earlier, Millie is a bit of a chewer and she chews toys like no end and she goes through them very quickly. And when she first came home, I bought a lot of cheap toys to see what sort of things she liked. 
And that was good in some respect, but there were certain toys that I don't advise you getting at all. And these are a couple that she hasn't yet destroyed, but they're not very big for starters. So again, in comparison to my hand, and then they have like these felt bits on the side. So you can see where she started to chew it. But she literally rips through them and you spend more time pulling these bits out of the mouth to stop them eating them. They do playing with it. So don't buy any toys where they've got like these stringy bits and ears and the tails. It's mainly the ears and especially the felt wings. Complete waste of money because I, I'd say these last for Millie a maximum of five minutes before I'm having to take them off of her. So especially with soft toys, spend more money on them because it'll be a lot better quality. Now a bit like the anti-chew spray, I'm not convinced the next item works. And it is this calming scent. So you plug it into the wall, a bit like an air freshener, and it's meant to calm down the dogs. I personally think that both this and the spray are money gimmicks, and I regret buying them and putting them on for when Millie was such a young puppy. Maybe it's something that would be better that if they, you notice they were suffering from separation anxiety, then trying it. But if she ever suffers from separation anxiety now, I'm not going to be able to use something like this because I had it on when she was a puppy and she didn't suffer from separation anxiety. Maybe it's not that it's a gimmick, it's more don't fall for all the ads that you see and all the recommendations you see online and buying stuff that is a complete waste of money for you. The next thing on my list I really liked at the time of purchase, but after maybe four or five uses it started to break. So I'd advise spending more money on a brush than I did to begin with. So I just bought a cheap one from Amazon. It was one of its highly recommended ones, but I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't go, can you see that? It doesn't go all the way back anymore because um, the bristles are broken. Let me see. Still a bit of Millie's hair in there, but can you see the, the bristles haven't gone back into the slots properly because they're bent when brushing her. And now it doesn't push all the way back so it doesn't collect as much hair. Whereas I've spent a bit more on a brush and that's lasted fine in a couple of months without any of this problem. Whereas the cheap one only lasted me a couple of weeks. So especially if you've got a breed like a cockapoo that need daily brushing, invest in a good brush, don't just buy the cheapest one. The next item on my list, I again wish I'd spent more money on to get decent ones, and that is Licky Mats. These are just the cheap plastic ones that you can get on Amazon, and honestly, they're so flimsy, they can rip through them straight away, and also, I've gone through more of them trying to get them clean because you can only hand wash them with them being plastic. So I wish, and definitely in the future, once these ones have been destroyed, I'm going to be spending more on licky mats and getting some decent metal ones that are dishwasher proof. So I haven't got to deal with cleaning them or me keep ripping them trying to clean them. Now the final item on my list, I'm glad I didn't buy. I won it in a giveaway on Instagram. So I do feel a little bit bad for mentioning it, but I think it's a complete farce to be honest with you. And that is the poor buddies. So these, you fill up with water and then you twist this end and then water comes out and then you brush off the mud off your dog's paws. And then this end, I think you're meant to comb out things. I've tried this multiple times now thinking it would be amazing and maybe it was just me not using it properly. It's been about three months now and we've using it on every muddy walk. First off, the bottle's not big enough to hold enough water to clean your dog's paws in one go. And with Millie being white, I can see all of the mud on her and I can use the full bottle trying to brush it out of her paws and it's not even clean them and it's still got all the mud stuck there. The brush does absolutely nothing, it's just really hard. So that end is the better end, but that doesn't do anything to get the mud out either. I personally think you're better off using a hose pipe or a bottle of water or putting them in the sink than you are using this. I'm glad I didn't buy this, but being completely honest with you, I was going to buy one anyway. Because I'm one of those people that get sucked into things on Instagram. If I see somebody promoting it and multiple people promoting it, then I'll want one. I think it's a good idea. And this before Christmas was doing its rounds. A lot of big accounts were promoting it. So I was going to buy one, but I'm glad I won it instead. 
I hope some of those things help you. Looking at these items now that I've listed, I need to learn to one, stop getting sucked in by Instagram ads. Two, stop buying items just because somebody says that you need them. Three, if it's an item that you want and you're gonna be using on a regular basis, spend more on it so it's better quality and then you won't regret it. The only things that are not from me making bad purchases, uh, this mental stimulation toy just because Millie doesn't like it and the puppy pads because again, she didn't use them. But everything else was all down to me being cheap or bit and getting sucked into buying something I didn't need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what items you regret purchasing for your dog. And if you agree with any of the items that I've said. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification button. And we will see you next week. Bye. So the first thing I want to, to do better research onto the size of your Kongs because to so do better, so